Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Kalhan 3000's open letter to Nintendo, inspired by Lotus Sama's do's and don'ts of writing fanfiction and Snap Chopstick's open letter to Yaoi fangirls. By the way, you two, I've watched both your works, I've read your work too, Snap Chopsticks, and I couldn't agree more being a Yaoi fangirl myself of certain anime couples. Alright, now, dear Nintendo, before I start the negatives, allow me to state the positives. I have been a fan of your video games for years. My very first game was Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, and the series is my top favorite. I have even, I have every single Nintendo system except the Game & Watch, Nintendo Famicom, the Game Boy Micro, and have been a subscriber of Nintendo Power for years. I have enjoyed many classic games from the Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, and Pokemon series. I would list the others, but there are far too many to list. Your company has come a long way from its years back when it was a company that made and sold trading cards as well as toys. Your company avoided bankruptcy with the thanks of Shigeru Miyamoto and his creation of the very first Donkey Kong game, which I own a copy for the original Game Boy, given to me as a gift from the brother of an old friend. As of late, many of your hardcore fans have been having issues with your company and your decisions relating to games you make. I am obviously one of those fans. I'm going to try to be as respectful as I can, and if I sound rude in any way, please forgive me. After you are done hearing what I have to say, you can decide what will happen. You're the company in charge and have every right to make your own decisions. I am just a simple and longtime fan and lover of video games who wishes to state the problems I have noticed of recently and hope you will take what I have to say, what I have to say to heart and decide to make some changes. Now, allow me to state my problems with your company as of late. Please, stop listening to those annoying, overprotective parents who can't read a rating system on game boxes to save their lives. Your company is well known for being careful and strict about the content in your games so as to avoid problems such as these. But, you most likely see, as well as I do, that this isn't working as the problem is not the games, but the parents. You have done more than your share to provide parents with the information needed to choose a game that they find acceptable for their children. If they fail to use the rating system when buying a game, it's their fault. Young children cannot buy mature or M-rated games without ID and you need to be 18 in order to get a state ID card. So obviously, it's not the children, but the parents buying these games for the kids, not the kids themselves. The next time some parent comes to you yelling about an M-rated game that their child played and should not have been playing in the first place, please jam this information down their throats the way they like jamming untrue information down the throats of people with functioning brains who truly know who is at fault, the parents. This same may seem a little bit extreme, but think of the extremes that these people are taking the issue through. Please stop overly catering to the casual gamers. I'm not saying stop making games for casual gamers, I'm saying to please tone it down. You have many longtime hardcore fans like me who would like to see some new games from classic series. I would love to see a new Donkey Kong game. And I'm sorry, but those Donkey Konga games just do not count. What about a Donkey Kong game similar to the famous and well-known Donkey Kong trilogy from the Super NES? Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 3. What about Donkey Kong 64? Those were memorable, and I have an honored spot on my video game collection where I take them out and happily replay them every so often. 
I'm very glad to hear the new Punch-Out game you're about the new Punch-Out game you're releasing. I remember playing the one for the Super NES with my father, and he played the original for the NES. Please stop making so many games that are obviously spin-offs of Nintendogs, such as pets and games about babysitting. And also, please stop making games about SpongeBob and Hannah Montana, okay? As far as I'm concerned, there was only one game based off a Nickelodeon show that actually worked, and that was Our Real Monsters, which was a game for the Super NES, as you may be well aware of. Anyway, so I'm happy to hear all the new games that you have planned from the Nintendo conference. After your presentation at E3 was highly disappointing to many, is an understatement. I'm going to be blunt, as I often find that sugarcoating fails to bring the message across thoroughly. Most of today's casual gamers only care about graphics. The few casual gamers that know what a good game is are being deprived of the same thing the hardcore fans are being deprived of. Playing Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess while a good game did not meet the same standards that its predecessors have. I, along with many hardcore longtime Zelda fans, found the game overly easy along with casual gamers who know what a good game is. The casual gamers who wouldn't know a good game if it smacked them in the head with a Wii remote say that it was overly hard and too difficult to figure out. Despite the characters telling them what to do and where to go, they want a game so easy that they might as well have a member of Nintendo playing the game for them. The games they like are ones that have good graphics and nothing else. And sadly, I see Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess as a game that is games over graphics. Very much. The graphics were realistic and beautiful, but the gameplay and the difficulty level were very disappointing and I've played both the Wii version and the GameCube version. Play made me fear that Nintendo might be going the same sad path as its rival Sega, who cares more about graphics than fixing the problems their games have. Nintendo has been known to put its customers first when it comes to games, and I respect, I respect that, seeing as some companies don't do this and care more about money than making their fans happy. Please stop catering to the needs of gamers who don't know what a real and fun game honestly is and have never played it, played the wonderful classics that many of your true fans enjoyed so many years ago. There is so much from our childhoods disappearing. Please don't let your memorable games be one of them.